Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about balancing and weighing. Before we left school, we did some activities in our science unit that had to do with balancing and weight. And one of the activities we did was we took a pencil with a flat eraser and we also took a butterfly that we cut out of cardstock. And our goal was to get the butterfly to balance on top of the pencil without falling off. Now the reason why this did this was because the weight of the paper, ooh, of the butterfly, was distributed evenly around the pencil. We call that weight being equal. So the weight was equal. And that is why the butterfly is balancing. We also changed it up a little bit and we put a paper clip on one part of the butterfly. And you had to determine where the pencil would go in order for the butterfly to balance again. So the weight was shifted a little bit, so you would have had to move the pencil. So that was one activity that we had done. Another one was we had to build a structure out of a beam. So we had to use a beam, a flat beam, and we had to use Unifix cubes. And you had to balance your structure or build it up using cubes. So today I am going to show you a new material that we're going to use. And some of you may have done part of this already in science, in school, but we are going to use a fulcrum to help balance our beam. So this activity goes along with the activity that is in your third packet. So if you wanna get that packet out and you wanna get out that very first page in science, that would be great. I'm going to pull it up on my screen. Okay, so here you can see that we have added a fulcrum instead of using the Unifix cubes now to hold up our beam. And the fulcrum is where the beam is going to rest on. It's what supports the beam, it's what holds up the beam. The beam can move in any direction, but our fulcrum is longer than it is wide. So we're just going to try to balance it on top, kind of like a seesaw. So in our balancing units, we used a fulcrum and a beam to construct a beam balance. So the beam balance, the beam balance because an equal amount of weight is on the opposite sides of the fulcrum. So if you look at the first diagram, it is labeled for you. You can see the beam and you can also see the fulcrum. What I'm going to do right now is I am going to show you the beam and the fulcrum. Okay, so on the table we have our fulcrum and we're going to place it this way. Okay, we also have our beam. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move our cubes to the side. We'll use those in a minute. I am going to try and balance the beam on top of the fulcrum. So the weight on either side of the fulcrum of the beam is even or it is equal. Sometimes it gets tricky. Okay. Well, let me see if I can move it over just a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty even on both sides. We can say the weight on this side of the fulcrum is equal to the weight 
on this side of the fulcrum, on the beam. So in class, we added the same amount of cubes to the opposite end of the beam. And by doing this, the beam would stay balanced. So let's try that. I'm going to take three cubes. I'm going to put them together like this. And I'm going to take three more cubes and I'm going to put them together just like this. And I'm going to put them in the same spot on the opposite sides. So, and you can see now that the beam is still balanced, okay? So we have three cubes here and we have three cubes on the opposite side. And it does make a difference where you place it on the beam. So if you place them in the exact same spots, then the beam will stay balanced. Now, what if I take one cube off of one side of the beam? Let's try that. I want you to make a prediction on what you think will happen. So let's do that. Let's see what happens. Okay. So this side has three cubes. This side only has two cubes. We can see that this side of the beam went closer to the ground than this side or the table. So this side of the beam, the cubes weigh more than the cubes on this side. Obviously, because we have three cubes on this side than we do on this side, we only have two. Okay, so we saw that the weight has to be equal on both sides in order for the beam to stay balanced. So we can say that this object is heavier than this object. So the next thing I'm going to show you are items you might use every day or even in school. So if you look at your paper, it's the third diagram. It says two items were placed on the beam balance below. So I'm going to take off our cubes and I'm going to make sure that our beam is balanced. You always have to make sure that it is balanced before you start. Otherwise your results will not be accurate. Okay, so I'm going to use a paper clip, okay, and I'm going to use an eraser. Now it's a little bit different than the eraser that is on your paper, but it's a little, little hard eraser, okay? So I am going to put this eraser on this side, and right away the beam goes down. Why do you think the beam went down right away? The beam went down right away because we don't have any object on this side, right? There is no weight. So obviously that's going to move down. So I'm going to take my paper clip and I'm going to place it on this side. Okay, as you can see, the beam is unbalanced because the heart eraser weighs more than the paper clip. Or you can say the heart eraser has more weight than the paper clip. So these results match your paper if you look down at the third diagram. So if we look at the bottom, I'm going to go back to that So if we look down here, it says, two items were placed on the beam balance below. And then you are to fill in the blanks to make the sentence true. If you look underneath each line, those are your choices as to which word to place on the line or to write on the line. So if our results match what is on this paper as they did, we can see that the beam is unbalanced, the eraser has more weight than the clip, 
because it is heavier and move that side of the beam down. Therefore, the beam shows the weights of the objects are unequal. If they were equal, then the beam would stay, it would look flat. It would look just like this, but it was like this, okay? Because the one object pushed down on the one side of the beam. That's just like if you ever have been on a seesaw or a teeter-totter before. If you've been on that before and you have a friend or a family member get on the other side, sometimes one person can stay up in the air and the other person is on the ground. Well, the person that is on the ground probably weighs more than the person that is staying up off of the ground on that teeter-totter. And then you have to push on your legs to go back and forth. That's because your weights are unequal. But if you and someone else were on the same teeter-totter or seesaw and you both weighed the exact same and you were sitting at the exact same spot, which you usually do on opposite sides, then you might both be the same spot in the air, just like this. The teeter-totter might just look like this. It might look perfectly balanced, okay? So as you move through your packet and you do your activities on balance and weight, you can think about some of those things in real life where balance is important. And there will be another video coming up shortly where you can see some real life activities that you can even try, okay? So I hope this helps you and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.